Well, this week, the Porsche Pace Carrera Cup Australia is very happy to catch up with Valenti Rosso's Josh Hunt. G'day, Josh. G'day, mate. How are you? Mate, I'm well. Uh, that's a nice background to your shot. Looks like you're still in the warm weather. So at least during lockdown, you've avoided the southern winter by the looks of things. Yeah, absolutely. Um, living on the Gold Coast has its perks, but uh, we've been quite blessed with the weather up here and, and having the beaches to escape to occasionally has been a, a real godsend. You've been around racetracks all your life, driving, competing, uh, behind the scenes with the team and now Volante Rosso, of course. What have you been doing to pass the time during this unscheduled off-season of ours? Well, mate, um, I'm a dad, so there's always plenty of things to do <laughs> and uh, and lots of time with Freddie. My son's been, been right up there on the list and uh, and even catching up with mum and dad and my sister and I've, uh, as you said, I've, I've spent a long time in the game and, and I've just moved back to the Gold Coast after almost 20 years away. So it, it's really nice to have that family connection. And um, I mean, there's been silver linings out of this. You know, obviously we are hectic and on the road a lot in our game and what we do. And, and to have six, seven weeks forced to be at home and, and be able to see those people or at least at least spend a little bit of time with them and walks along the beach is, has been really nice. So, uh, so I've really taken advantage of that. It's probably been an underreported and underrated aspect of this um, national global shutdown, isn't it? That opportunity to spend time with the loved ones, especially you having a, a young family. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, uh, it's very easy to uh, neglect the people closest to you, and uh, and this has been a pretty good, pretty good way to, to get back in touch. And you know, I'm sure we pressured each other at times with too much time together, <laughs> but. Um, but in, in a whole, it's actually been really good. So, so enjoyed it a lot. Uh, where are things at from a Valenti Rosso side of things? Tell us a bit about where the race team is at right now and what you're building up towards in what we hope to be a very busy second half of 2020. Yeah, obviously uh, getting a bit jittery now and, and keen to get back out there and in the car. Um, you know, being uh, being involved in the team side as, as well as the driver's seat, you know, there's a lot of commercial aspects that we've got to, we've got to keep aware of and, and it's going to be interesting to see how those things play out. Um, you know, I've had a, a really good group of supporters from the beginning and, uh, and, and people that have uh, really stuck by us and, and enjoyed being involved and, and received a lot of benefits out of the involvement with us. So um, we, we, it's all intentions for us to be on the track in the orange car again um, with me driving. We've, uh, we've had some chats with some other drivers as well, which is really exciting to, to join the team. Uh, both both in the amateur and the pro class, so so hopefully we can we can see some of those come to fruition for this back end of the season, um, even to the point where I may even share my seat um, to uh, to really get ready for next year being the final year of this car. Mm-hmm. And uh, and but you know what is really year three for us as a team, and uh, and and a very steep learning curve at that. One of the things I wanted to touch on, Josh, with Valenti Rosso, is you guys have been very active in supporting some amazing charities throughout your existence and short existence of the race team. That's been a fundamental part of the way you guys um, go racing, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, this is... I've just turned 35 and, and this will mark 19 years driving for a living, you know. So it's it's been a long time where, uh, where you... you it can focus a little bit too much on yourself and and the and what's directly involved in, in getting the car on track and you know Chris and I have uh, have really had a uh, had a push which has been encouraged also by one of our main sponsors Laurie construction and another couple of partners that sit silently in the background um, uh, to be able to give something back and and as a lot of us are, do have young families. It has been a focus on kids and, and the, uh, the charities that, that do help kids. And it started off with uh, Maddie's Vision and uh, the Rewell family, uh, family friends of ours. My sister went to school with Maddie and I went to school with Alex. And, uh, and you know, that, that really got our creativity going and, and ways that we could look in, in expanding this. And, um, you know, very proud to, to say that we've managed to donate $100,000 in, in charity, uh, sorry, $200,000 now um, wow. towards charity in, in the past two and a half years that we've been doing this. And um, and that's something that we're only hoping to expand into the future. And, uh, you know, it's not just um, about the money side, but there's lots of things that we do as a team and, and Chris and I do personally to, uh, 
to really support these charities and, and, and try and get not just the money going there, but a few expertise and motivation and, and all of these kind of things to, uh, to help along the way. That's extraordinary, mate. Congratulations to you and Chris and the team. It's a fantastic initiative. Um, what about from a race car driver point of view? I imagine you've been keeping yourself sharp uh, during this time away from the real world seat. Firstly, uh, sim racing. It's exploded. We've got the yeah. Porsche Pace and Michelin Virtual Cup. Have you been enjoying that? Yeah, mate. Something totally new for me. You know, I've, uh, I've uh, probably come from a little bit of the old school. Um, where, where sims weren't as as prominent, but um, but we had the opportunity to be in a car a lot. More. So, uh, but uh, but yeah, I mean, hats off, and you can really see why these young guys coming into the series are just so strong and so talented. Um, because they they they've really mastered something that that is quite difficult. And uh, you know, I remember Paul Tracy saying something only in recent times and saying that sometimes the sim is actually harder than driving the car itself. And, uh, and, you know, with the, the lack of some of the feedback and everything that, that we look for as race drivers, I mean, it's a real art to master. And um, I feel like I'm slowly getting better, not getting on top of it. But, uh, but it's, it is it's something that um, I think will definitely be a permanent fixture in, in my, um, my preparation now and going forward. The other aspect to your preparation is physical training. Have you been keeping up some gym time during this period? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, my fitness and and, uh, and that side of life is always pretty big in, in my priority list. So I've really enjoyed that. Um, you know, originally it's Freddie and the pram and going going for a run with him. But, uh, you know, now he's up and walking and a bit more active. I try to include him in some of my my training and, and, uh, and he, he sort of enjoys the activity as well. But so lots of beach runs. Um, you know, the, the guys at Laurie Construction have gone all out and built me a gym in their last couple of months. Cool. So, uh, so Nick Laurie and, uh, and his, his number one um, in charge, Cam McRae and myself, we get down there and, and push each other along. And, and that's probably really kept things um, good upstairs mentally uh, for, for all three of us because uh, well, we're all under the pump and, um, and to get in there and train together has been really, really good. So, yeah, that... That physical side's been great. And, um, even just the, the, the freedom of, of mind to be able to go there and focus on on the fitness instead of it just being something we had to do or tried to fit into your daily life. So that's been really cool. So, yeah, there's, as I said, lots of silver linings that come, on, come out of a pretty confusing and, and stressful time, but, uh, but trying to make the most of it. Well, it's great to hear, mate. We can't wait to catch up when we get back to a racetrack with the Porsche Pace Career Cup Australia. Thanks for your time. Best of luck and look forward to seeing you at a real world racetrack soon. Yeah, absolutely. Good to talk to you, Garzi. Thanks, mate.